maybe had lost it, but he has been able to come up with 1.3 million signatures as of yesterday. Uh, this country, when it comes to politics, I think that that's not a big aha moment to quote Oprah, but it does anger some people. You had uh, folks who say this money could be spent helping the education system and other great issues that are that Californians are facing. Right, and intensify as it heads toward Vietnam and China. It is one of the stories we're following around the news station. Some pretty incredible video to show you after this break. And this month marks 45 years since Neil Armstrong became the first man to land on the moon. And now a new book looks at his career, his triumphs, and his personal tragedies. I'll talk live with Neil Armstrong's friend and our friend, NBC's Jay Barbary, who's been covering NASA for more than half a century. He also said he was looking for a singer, Katy Perry. At least one person was inside the home at the time. Up next, highlights from Derek Jeter's final All-Star Game. 45 years ago today, launching from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, Neil Armstrong led a group of astronauts on a historic mission to space. If this had happened to any other guest, we'd just say we've got technical problems, we can't talk to him, but because it's Jay Barbary, we're willing to take this jacked up live shot with a phone. Nevertheless. <laughs> Never That's less. because you love me, yes, Cameron. You yes. know that. And you were my dream girl, and God bless you. Thank you, sir. Well, your book is on the side of my bed. I've been reading it, glued to every page. You've had an incredible journey, and you've watched these astronauts who've become real American heroes through their journey. And with Armstrong, it's so complex when you look at his life after the space program, his opinions, and really how he lived uh, under the burden, in some ways, of this legacy. We adore you. And again, Jay's book is Neil Armstrong, A Life of Flight. Thank you so much. And it was great to see you the other day in New York and get a hug from you. Thanks, Jay. Thank you, Tamron. Love you, girl. Bye-bye. All, right. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I always blush when I talk to him. Anyway, time now for the News Nation Got Check. It's a story we brought you earlier about the plan to split up California into six separate states, possibly getting on the ballot 2016. It was Derek Jeter's night at the All-Star Game in Minneapolis, the Yankee captain and future Hall of Famer. I'm going to hold life. my phone up. It's a cool <laughs> thing to do. Isn't it pretty cool? All right, let's talk about Jeter. Yeah, you're not, a, you're not a fan. No, huh? I didn't say that. I said I wondered if he were a Texas Ranger, would he, you know, be more loved? Well, that's Is that what, possible? Well, that's what the critics have said. Well, and you walked up there. I walked up here. She said, well, Derek's not that great, is it? Makes him remarkable. Not only his accomplishments on the field always yeah. seems to... And I covered the home run derby right. uh, for Sammy Sosa and all of the bad things that happened sure. to baseball after that. He is a guy that has lived as it seems, an up-and-up life and dedicated to the game and the fans. Well, well look, look at this. 20 years in the... Uh, Tatted on my shoulder. Now we're going to start on Alex Rodriguez next. No, I, <laughs> no, I, I don't won't know. be able to sell you on <laughs> Okay, <yet. laughs> But yesterday's game did have a little scandal. Sure. You had some people questioning right. uh, that double. What, what's the deal right. there? Well, th they thought that Adam Wainwright... The you take life for granted and right. the, the daily events of it. And he said, enjoy every day because it does go fast. I thought that was beautifully That's said. That's what he told the other yeah. American League. Yeah. And it's amazing because... The player that was yeah. finally given his due... Right. Uh, on a grand stage for Major League Baseball, pioneer, um, and he didn't know it. Yeah, he didn't know it. And also, uh, Billy Bean, not to be... Yeah, all right, well, I'm sold. Going to go I get sold my number John two. Jeter? We're headed up to the Lower East Side to get my tattoo. Jeter, wow. for life. I will see that on the Today Show. <laughs> Thank time. you, Lynn. And that does it for this edition of News Nation. I'm Tamron Hall. Thank you for joining me for this hour. Up next, Andrea Mitchell reports.